Ian asks, hi, what is the advantage of using Power Automate or JSON to retrieve data compared to a direct connection? That is an amazingly wonderful question. And it is also vague enough that you can't really answer it. <laughs> <laughs> so, Are you saying it depends? Well, it depends on what you mean by instead of a direct connection. So my assumption is that he means, why would I use Power Automate to, to connect this to that versus using an API from some app that he's built that goes straight to your data source? And my answer is, well, because it's Power Automate, why wouldn't you use it? Absolutely. Um, so it depends so on your does the power depends, auto the power platform consultant yes right so it depends on what you're what you're connecting if you've got a .NET app and you've got a database a SQL database you know yeah direct connections that makes sense if you're using SharePoint and a Power App or just SharePoint or Dataverse or Microsoft Forms or fill in the other Teams you know fill in the other M three sixty five front end user applications. Um, Power Automate is just so much easier than building a direct connection, uh, assuming that he's talking about like an API to a, an application that he's building. Uh, with Power Automate, you can use the JSON in your data connection or in your, wow, in your uh, dynamic values. So when you grab whether you use the SharePoint connector, or you use the parse JSON with a like a HTML uh, or re HTTP request. Um, the JSON is going to give you every bit of information that you could possibly use. And then all, as long as you parse it correctly, you can use each of those pieces of information in your dynamic values to do whatever other stuff you need to do in that workflow. Um, and if you use the the out of the box Power Automate actions like uh, update SharePoint item or update Microsoft Excel row or update a Teams application uh, function. The those pieces are all in JSON. They're all using JSON. They're just um, doing the work for you, so you don't have to write the script for it. So again, it depends on what you're connecting. I always start from the question when it comes to end user, you know, behavior is, is it already giving you what you need? Do you need to really rebuild something to give you the same thing? So it comes down to effort. And if you don't know the topic, um, <laughs> then that all the energy going in to learn to do exactly the same thing. Uh, it doesn't matter what it is in terms of the technology. Sometimes it's like, hang on, you know, <laughs> is that effort actually, you know, worth it? But until you know the new tech, sometimes it's hard to answer that question. Kind of say that that is a great answer that every ISV gives of the build versus buy argument. <laughs> and, uh, and the answer, the and usually the pushback comes not from the customers, but for the uh, the consultants that are working with those customers that would rather bill for the they hours don't to do it. build it from scratch. No, <laughs> yeah. no, it's not that they yeah. don't want to do it. They want to go and build yeah. the hours to Spend build money. it from scratch rather mm -hmm. than use the tool. I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. But I see it, you know, from. Um, should I move from, you know, planner over to lists? It's like, well, what are you trying to do? Just some of the, you know, they're just really simple basics. And I go, well, no, you're already getting what you need out of this particular product unless you go into the next level and you want to soup it up. Uh, well, no, not really. And I go, well, then why why transfer from one to another if you that's not a skill and or a technology that you need? But that's not, that's my always my question. Well, anyway, that's just a bit of an aside. The other the other piece of this is it's talking about using the Power Automate to retrieve the data versus a connection. So we're assuming that there is a connector in place. If we're getting data, like Jonathan said, out of SharePoint mm -hmm. or an, an, an area that's already accessible to Power Automate, it makes perfect sense. But if you're doing, like, for example, um, we've done connections to data that are you know, on premises, but external to the client. So therefore, we have to go through a data gateway to get that information. Um, there's reasons why you wouldn't do that. So for 
example, if I'm getting external data from an on-premises you know, location that's coming in through a data gateway and then coming back to on-premise, I don't know that I would use that particular way of doing it and I would create the direct connection. I could then use it to grab that data and pull it into something else, but I might need both of those pieces to actually accomplish the goal I'm trying to get to. So it it it, it doesn't even have to be an either or question if there's more complexity to it. Exactly. Indeed. So you're saying we have more questions for the no, question? No, it's, it's it's that no, it's it's that it could be one or the other or both. Mm -hmm. It could be. There's three sides to every story. That's right. <laughs> Your side, my side, and the truth. Yes. <laughs>